What is up everybody and welcome back today to another episode of Cast and Real Wisconsin. Uh, today we're back out on Lake Michigan. Uh, it's like second week of May here. Nice day out with my buddy Brett right here. Uh, we are hopefully going to be catching a two-man limit of coho, but while we're doing it today I'm also going to be showing you a little bit of a how-to session. So uh, sit back, relax, I'm going to show you guys how to catch these beautiful fish. Stay tuned. These bugs aren't as bad as they were over there, I don't think, unless I'm just used to them now. <laughs> Guys, first fish of the day on the rigger, not a bad one. Get a butt out and get in the cooler. Alrighty, guys, so I'm gonna quickly show you um, kind of what we're running today. Uh, it is just a two man crew on the boat, so we are running six lines. Um, a lot of times I'll usually be out here with one or two people. So my six to nine rod spread's a little bit different. Um, six rods, usually I'm always gonna be running two straight off the back of the boat. Uh, so today we're running a rigger on this side. Uh, we got just a standard little dip, uh, mini dipsy on this side. We're only running in 20, 30 feet of water, so you guys don't need a large mag or one size dipsy. The smaller mini ones work just fine getting down 15-ish feet. Um, but yeah, then we got boards. Uh, it's, depending on kind of what the coho we're hitting on, we either you know you're going to be using your standard coho rig, um, or you're going to be running crankbaits. We got one shad wrap out today and three three coho rigs on a snap weight system. Um, but yeah, I'll kind of show you guys how I rig my coho rigs and uh, what's the most effective way in catching them. So a lot of times when I'm running a coho rig, uh, you, you have to tie the leader yourself with a little peanut fly. Um, I run the Lure Jensen, uh, I think they're 5 and 7 8 inch flashers, dodgers. Um, and I really like just the standard red ones. Some people want UV tape on them, that sort of thing. But I really find that the standard red ones work really well. Um, but when I tie them up, uh, people vary their leader lengths, but I do exactly 13 inches from the back of this uh, connection all the way to the peanut fly. Uh, when you're looking at it in the water, it gives you a really nice little wobble um, at that length. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the standard standard rig there. And then for peanut flies, um, I use a lot of, almost, almost exclusively, I just buy these little uh, Howie peanut flies. They work really well. Um, a little bit expensive, 399 if you know how to tie them and make your own. Definitely advised, but uh, this is what I use. Um, usually any, anything with green in it works. Green and, green and gold, green and blue, green and neon yellow. Um, this one's been a really hot one this year, green, the green and neon. Um, but yeah, any of those standard peanut flies work really well. And then how I run all my boards, some people run small lead cores, you know, two and three colors, even one color this time of year, five, 10, 15 feet down. Um, but I really like to have the ability to vary if everything's hitting 10 feet down, vary all my board rods so they're running the same. So what I run is like a, it's a little snap weight system. You just got a standard little clip on the top. Um, and then I run all my boards with two ounce snaps. Some people, instead of varying the length of the, the between the board and the uh, weight, some, te some people keep the distances the same and vary the weights of the actual snap weight. Um, I find it's way quicker if everything's hitting 30 feet back from the board, which I think puts you around 10 feet down, you can adjust all your boards so you're running that same exact depth. Um, but that's kind of just a quick rundown of how we're running things today. Um, shad wrap and flicker shads, you know, you're running 7 to 80 feet behind the board. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get back to catching them and we'll hopefully get to two-man limit today. Some of them, I mean, most of them. It's crazy how much boats are really, really expensive. Really, they went up like 20%. Everything is going up like 20 fish, though. There you go. Bottom one. I got a little clip right there.
Oh, they got one too. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, it was a little bit slower down in the water due to the fact that it was really brown water with the east winds we've had the pre previous few days. But I hope you guys enjoyed the water and learned a few from the uh, tricks and stuff I showed you in the video on how I run all my stuff. But yeah, see you guys in the next video. This has been Casting Wisconsin. Have a good one.